Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be unboxing the iPad Air. This is like the fourth generation one. So I also got the second generation Apple Pencil. And if you're new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you have this. The one that I got is the 64 gigabyte one with Wi-Fi and it is in the color rose gold. So I'm just gonna go straight into unboxing this. So here's how the box looks. I am planning to use this iPad for school and for fashion design. I'm really planning to use this for Procreate, which I actually do have on my other iPad and I've been using it a lot. So it will be really interesting to compare the Apple Pencils on both of the iPads. I got back rose gold because I just really like the pink. As you can tell, my room's really pink, so I just got the rose gold one and i know it came with the other newer colors so this is how it looks it's in a little plastic i'm gonna open it hopefully don't drop it this is so awesome. and then there's this thing in the box oh my gosh look at that like shine the shiny apple thing <laughs> this is how it looks oh my gosh it actually feels so light it's really light What else is in the box is this. There's a, a USB-C cord, but yeah, they have the little plug, like the sticker and everything. So it's just these two. This is the pencil here. Slides out like this. And there's this card thing again. Here's the pencil. It is actually so much shorter than the first generation one like if you compare the height like this one's a bit longer so i think i'm gonna go and set this up so i'm just turning it on right now and there is like touch id here so that's really cool it says hello english Australia. Ooh, the screen is really nice. So I'm gonna quickly um, transfer my old iPad's data onto here and set it up. Here, I'm just gonna quickly set them up. So now I'm gonna set up the Touch ID. So it says it's gonna take about three minutes to transfer. The transfer is complete, so I'm gonna start testing this iPad out. This is how the new iPad looks, and I have transferred all my data onto here, so this is how it looks. So I got the paper-like screen protector for my iPad, and I had it on for my old iPad before, so I just decided to reuse the second screen protector that it came with and I cut it up to fit my new iPad so I won't have to go and buy another one. So I ended up getting the smart keyboard for my iPad just so I could use it to go somewhere instead of bringing my heavy laptop. So it sticks on magnetically. So I would use this keyboard to do my schoolwork if I forget my laptop or if I just don't want to bring my laptop that day to school or anywhere else that I don't want to carry my heavy laptop around. And I think that the keyboard's really useful because it also works as a protector for the iPad and like a case. So as you can see, there are two options of angles you can magnetically snap it onto. And you can also flip the keyboard to the back. This is my old iPad. This is the iPad Pro from 2017 with the old pencil. And I'm going to do some comparisons for you guys. Here are the two iPads. 
I actually used to use this one purely just for school. I've had it for about three years and I used it and then I got a laptop and then I used it for Procreate. So I did a quick comparison with the two iPads to see the differences of using Procreate and the pencils as well. So the older pencil definitely felt a bit more laggy but I was already used to it because I had used it a lot that I had to get used to now the quicker and more accurate speed of the actual pencil. The only big difference is the black borders of the newer iPad which is what I kind of purposely bought it mainly for because I really hated the white borders and how chunky it was on my old iPad. Wait, I'm just gonna compare these two and as you can see like I said this is much not much longer but a little bit longer than this pencil and this pencil is matte and this is kind of glossy so yeah so my first impressions is that I really like this iPad and I'm so glad I got this and it's a really good upgrade if you're thinking about it and it's not too pricey if you're getting the 64 gigabyte iPad Air so I think it was a good purchase so. if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see a what's on my iPad video next <laughs>